Hello and welcome to my channel for and yet another comparison. This time between France and Sweden. Now, Simonon is a well-known mystery writer starring Inspector Maygray. It's been on TV, televised, made movies. This one is about killers. A Franco-American murderer. How the two uh, law enforcement systems differ and how the various criminals play in each country. I imagine that the uh, similarities have actually increased as things are want to do. I suppose it's a form of progress. Not so as anyone would notice. There never seems to be fewer crimes. Even though the stats tell us, the stats, the statistics tell us certain things operate more or less depending on what situation's going on in the country at the time. But as far as writing goes, you can expect low key intermittent bits of storm and drang but uh excellent stories the low-key aspect may lull you into complacency but don't because there's always that bit of storm and drang so it's a much more subtle sort of writing i am not even gonna attempt to pronounce this Okay, the man on the balcony. Now I know Swedes are supposed to be very reserved and self-contained, but frankly, this book is bleak. Bleak. If you are at all familiar with the uh, detective program televised uh, called Wallander, yeah, bleak. Just like the winter landscape in northern Sweden, Southern Sweden, yeah, not a book that's going to cheer you up very much. Part of the trouble people have getting into this particular book by this pair of authors, yes, it is two people is the precise detail of description in the first chapter. Every bit of minutia is included. Everything, every little bit and piece. And then a great walloping clue is dropped right in the middle And yes, at the end of the first chapter, the creeps come on. So yes, creepy and bleak. So you can decide whether you want winter or spring. This book will cheer you up. Well, they both get the bad guy, but this book would cheer you up. This one, not so much. Both excellent writers. Every now and again, you get a glimmer of wit, but don't look for a great deal of humor in those two. It's just not happening. In any case, uh, I would recommend the Simonon 
that you read the Inspector Maygray stories. I really don't think that uh, the Martin Beck police mysteries are easy to get into. So they might be a tougher read than most people are willing to undergo. In any case, thank you for watching, and please do come again.